going to create and isolate manganese heptoxide in a laboratory. As a molecule, it looks like this. Manganese atoms, two. Mn2. How many oxygen atoms? O7. So there's three oxygens here, three here, and one there. Now look at the bonding here. There's double bonds. Then there's just a single bond for this one oxygen atom. Interesting. Okay, so manganese septoxide is an inorganic compound with the formula here. This volatile liquid is highly reactive and more often discussed than prepared due to the danger of this molecule. It is a dangerous oxidizer and first described in 1860. Okay. Manganese heptoxide arises as a dark green oil in appearance. By addition, the following two reagents. First, concentrated hydrochloric acid. Plus, solid potassium permanganate. The synthesis here, so when these two reagents combine, the products formed, let's look at this one, water, KHSO4, potassium hydrogen sulfate, and the special molecule that we're going to isolate in the lab, manganese heptoxide. So, uh, manganese heptoxide uh, decomposes near room temperature. Okay? So, uh, it's explosive, so at the temperature of above 55 degrees centigrade. The explosion can be initiated by striking the sample or by exposure to an organic compound. The products are, after the, the reaction has taken place, after it, the manganese heptoxide has reacted and exploded, is most likely given manganese dioxide plus oxygen gas. Now, this is the interesting part I want to talk about. Ozone, okay, O-Z-O-N-E, -E, which is O3. Now, in one of my previous videos in the past, I showed you guys an ozone generator using some high voltage and some magnets. Now, this is a chemical way okay, that ozone is produced. Now, ozone is also produced giving a strong smell to the substance. The ozone okay, emitted from the compound can spontaneously ignite paper impregnated with an alcohol solution. So it's, this is a very dangerous compound. Let's head to the laboratory and let me show you how to create and isolate manganese heptoxide. Okay, so the first step in the process of making manganese heptoxide is in this beaker, I'm going to add a concentrated solution of sulfuric acid. I have 50 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid in this beaker. I'm now going to add 10 milliliters of solid potassium permanganate crystals to the concentrated sulfuric acid solution.
Now, if you look very closely, you can see a greenish color here. This indicates that manganese heptoxide is present. Going to place a watch glass over the beaker to prevent vapors from accumulating in the laboratory. Going to very carefully mix the solution around. The purple vapor you see is vaporous permanganate. Okay, so for the first reaction, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit of the manganese heptoxide onto this watch glass here. Just a little bit. So for the first reaction, I'm going to introduce a match stick. And the match head uh, contains potassium chlorate and other traces of red phosphorus and sulfur. So let's see what happens. A manganese heptoxide reacts greatly with organic material. So to test that, I'm going to place a piece of this leaf in the manganese heptoxide solution. Now the next test involves a piece of tissue paper soaked with some alcohol solution. Three, two, one. I'm going to now introduce a piece of cotton without the alcohol to the manganese heptoxide. I'm now going to introduce isopropanol alcohol to the manganese heptoxide. Three, two, one. And as always, Thanks for watching.